Three, three, two, two, one, one. Welcome. Well, I've got a second slide. <laughs> <laughs> it's not working. Okay, we'll try it again. Yeah, there's going to be yeah, lag. Be lag. Uh, three, two, two, one. one. Welcome. Welcome to Second, second Life. life. Welcome to Second Life. The first time Second Life experience can be very daunting for new residents, so we've developed a formula we believe makes the process as easy as possible. It all happens in our seven full regions designed to explore, interact, socialize, and learn in. Experiencing Second Life through the Firestorm Gateway begins with our Orientation Island, comprised of a tutorial pathway that teaches the core basics like movement, camera controls, mouse interaction, appearance, etiquette, and so on. We firmly believe that having real people around to help is one of the most important components to a successful onboarding experience. So after they leave orientation, they land at our social club where they can find live help, socialize, make friends, dance, and even stock up on quality free content like clothing and avatars. The gateway is full of interactive games which help you learn to use the viewer without it feeling like learning. Games like Greedy, Simopolis, Whack-A-Mole, Bubble Breaker, and then the much more challenging and engaging games like Ghost Town by Mad P, where residents have to find clues to solve a mystery, and as a reward they win exclusive gifts. This is one of our most popular areas. And then there's Golf by Crowley Corp, which is surprisingly more fun in Second Life than it is in real life. We have a small five-hole golf course, where residents can further learn to interact with the HUD and with in-world objects. Who says learning or golf can't be fun? Bumper Boats is one of my most favorite games where two teams of two compete to push the buoy into the opposing team's backboard. You just can't believe how much fun this game is. I've never laughed so hard. Go it, go! We also have a fishing area where new residents can actually win real in-world money to help them buy the not-so-free content beyond the Firestorm Gateway regions. It is our hope that we can get new people hooked on Second Life by helping them find what interests them. Then we help them find other places who have a stronger focus on those interests. We have a massive roleplay environment high up in the sky comprised of three areas, a space station, a much smaller Epsilon ship, and a complete starship based on the Star Trek series. The space station is home to Callahan Spiral Galaxy, which is a drop-in roleplay area where folks from all over the galaxy can mingle, do business, legal or otherwise, relax and socialize. Feel free to drop in any time for a drink, to roleplay, or just explore the station. Our Sovereign-class starship is equipped with a bridge, sick bay, engineering, a functioning holodeck, flight control deck, and a supply deck. We host regularly scheduled Trek roleplay sessions for residents. The ship is also a lot of fun to explore. You can even launch a shuttlecraft and fly around the area. We also provide a large sandbox area with a 90 minute auto return where residents are able to res and unpack their items or even build complex structures. Soon we'll be hosting basic building classes, so stay tuned. And speaking of classes, we host viewer classes almost every day, and at the end of each class we offer an open question and answer session. This is a great opportunity for new and old residents alike to express their questions or their concerns and get straight answers. Boy, do we know how to throw a party. We have two event spaces, one big and one small. The small space hosts things like book and poetry readings, trivia, bingo, and other small events, while the large space hosts big parties, including a monthly res day party, as a way of helping new resis feel welcome. It also helps demonstrate more of what happens in SL for new folks. They say not to judge a book by its cover. Well, don't think what's on the surface is all there is. We have a massive underwater area full of places to explore and discover. This is a bit of a lost Atlantis installation with sunken castles, ships, and underwater caves, a cemetery full of surprises, and a plethora of marine animals. Some are dangerous and some you can even ride. You can explore underwater with our free scuba equipment, a little personal mini sub, or with our bubble vehicles which go above and below ground. Those aren't the only vehicles we offer though. 
Fun learning is easy learning, so we also provide dozens of other vehicles to get around in, like jet skis and bumper boats on the water, to the Red Bull stunt plane. Magnum PI helicopter, a small ultralight airplane, even some hidden aircraft like the hang glider. Exploration has its rewards. We even have skydiving from the airport with a skylift seat and automatically attaching and deploying parachutes. Bird's eye view helps to see more of what there is to discover. Whether you explore with vehicles, on foot, or just by flying around, you'll constantly be finding secret hidden places. Like the lodge, or the beautiful and vast enchanted Dow Forest. Pirate's Cove. Explore and discover the spooky ghost town area, or play the game for even more immersion. And we have so much more coming, like elaborate caves and mine areas to be used in hunts in future games. We're even bringing in a mech robot obstacle course soon. We believe by including fun and interactive shared experiences to the new user, they'll have a better taste of what SL has to offer and go on to discover everything else beyond the gateway. Come experience Second Life through the Firestorm Gateway, and welcome to Second Life!